Ballantine Books is a major book publisher located in the United States, founded in 1952 by Ian Ballantine with his wife, Betty Ballantine. It was acquired by Random House in 1973, which in turn was acquired by Bertelsmann in 1998 and remains part of that company today. Ballantine's logo is a pair of mirrored letter B's back to back. The firm's early editors were Stanley Kaufman and Bernard Shearcliff. Topic History Following Fawcett Publications Controversial 1950 Introduction of Gold Medal Paperback Originals Rather than Reprints, Lion Books, Avon and Ace also decided to publish originals. In 1952, Ian Ballantyne, a founder of Bantam Books, announced that he would offer trade publishers a plan for simultaneous publishing of original titles in two editions, a hardcover, regular edition for bookstore sale, and a paper cover, newsstand, size, low-priced edition for mass market sale. When the first Ballantyne book, Cameron Hawley's Executive Suite was published in 1952, the publishing industry saw that the simultaneous hardcover and paperback editions were obvious successes. Houghton Mifflin published the $3 hardcover at the same time Ballantyne distributed its 35 paperback. By February 1953, Ballantyne had sold 375,000 copies and was preparing to print 100,000 more. Houghton Mifflin sold 22,000 hardback copies in its first printing. Ballantine's sales soon totaled 470,000 copies. Instead of hurting hardback sales as some predicted, the paperback edition instead gave the book more publicity. After the film rights were sold to MGM, Robert Wise directed the 1954 film, nominated for four Academy Awards. On the heels of that kind of sales and publicity, other Ballantine titles were seen in spinner racks across the country. Executive Suite was followed by Hal Elson's The Golden Spike, number two; Stanley Barron's All My Enemies, number three; Luke Short's Saddle by Starlight, number four; also with Houghton Mifflin; Ruth Park's The Witch's Thorn, number five; also with Houghton Mifflin; Emil Danoin's Tides of Tide, number six; Frank Bonham's Blood on the Land, number seven; Al Capp's The World of Lil Abner, number eight; with Farrar, Strauss, and Young, and LaSalle. Gilman's The Red Gate, number nine. Topic: Science fiction and fantasy books. During the early 1950s, Ballantine attracted attention as one of the leading publishers of paperback science fiction and fantasy, beginning with The Space Merchants, number 21. The Frederick Pohl and C. M. Kornbluth novel had first appeared in Galaxy Science Fiction under the title Gravy Planet. Kaufman scored when he acquired and edited Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 originally in Galaxy as a shorter version, The Fireman. Ballantine's science fiction line also included the unusual star science fiction stories. With cover paintings by Richard Powers, this innovative anthology series offered new fiction rather than reprints. Edited by Frederick Pohl, it attracted readers by successfully combining the formats of both magazines and paperbacks. In the early 1960s, the company engaged in a well-known rivalry with Ace Books for the rights to reprint the works of J. R. R. Tolkien and Edgar Rice Burroughs in paperback form. Ballantine prevailed in the struggle for the Tolkien work, with their editions of Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings including a message on the back cover from Tolkien himself urging consumers to buy Ballantine's version and boycott unauthorized editions, i.e. the version from Ace Books. A separate Canadian edition of the books was published with different front cover artwork. Tolkien asked for and received permission to add the back cover message. Betty Ballantyne recalled, "...and we did put a little statement on the back cover saying that Ace was not paying royalties to Professor Tolkien, and everybody who admired Lord of the Rings should only buy our paperback edition. Well, everybody got behind us." 
There was literally no publication that did not carry some kind of outraged article. And of course, the whole science fiction fraternity got behind the book, this was their meat and drink. In 1969, Lynn Carter edited the Ballantine Adult Fantasy series, which brought a number of rare titles back into print, as well as launching Catherine Kurtz's Dereny series. During the mid-1970s, Ballantine published the Star Trek Logs, a ten-volume series of Alan Dean Foster adaptations of the animated Star Trek. In 1968, Ballantine published a non-fiction book related to Star Trek, The Making of Star Trek by Stephen E. Whitfield and Gene Roddenberry. In 1976, Ballantine published the novelization of a forthcoming science fiction film, Star Wars, From the Adventures of Luke Skywalker by George Lucas ghostwritten by Alan Dean Foster. The book, like the film Star Wars released the following year, was an enormous success and sold out its initial print run. In the first three months, Ballantine sold 3.5 million copies. Topic. Cartoons, comics and humor books After publishing The World of Lil Abner, Ballantine introduced Shel Silverstein in 1956 with his Grab Your Socks, collection of cartoons from Pacific Stars and Stripes. Ballantine also published several collections of Jim Davis's comic strip Garfield. As an editor at Ballantine during the 1950s and 1960s, Bernard Shearcliffe handled the Zacherly anthologies, the paperback of Hunter Thompson's Hell's Angels, Harvey Kurtzman's The Mad Reader and other early Mad paperbacks. He made four contributions to Mad and other magazines edited by Kurtzman. In 1956, Shearcliffe edited a humor anthology, The Wild Reader, for Ballantine, including essays, poems and satirical pieces by Robert Benchley, Art Buckwald, Tom Lehrer, John Lardner, Shepard Mead, Ogden Nash, S. J. Perelman, Frank Sullivan, James Thurber and others. The 154-page paperback was illustrated with cartoons by Kelly Fries who also did the front cover. Another contributor to both Ballantine and the Kurtzman magazines was the cartoonist author Roger Price. He did two humor books for Ballantine. I'm for Me First 1954 details Herman Klabrickett's plan to launch a revolutionary political party known as the I'm for Me First party. In One Head and Out the Other, 1954 popularized the catchphrase, I had one grunch, but the eggplant over there. The nonsense non sequitur was immediately adopted by science fiction fandom, appearing occasionally in fanzines, as noted in Fancyclopedia 2. 1959. <laughs> Ballantine authors Steve Barry, Alison Brennan, Suzanne Brockman, Harriet Brown, Meg Waite Clayton, Bill Dedman, Julie Garwood, Tess Gerritsen, Tommy Hilfiger, Linda Howard, Charlie Houston, Jonathan Kellerman, Demetria Martinez C. Wright Mills, Anne Perry, Jeff Shara, Angus Wells, Carol S. Dweck, Emily Giffen, 